Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a wheel cleaning comparison and we're going to be using this wheel here in front of us as we see. Uh, this wheel has been purposely neglected and uh, we are going to be testing out the Dawn Power Wash. This is the uh, Dawn's kind of like heavy hitter. It's a more powerful uh, version of their dish soap and it comes in this little almost like a 16 ounce bottle with a foam trigger. And uh, it's a pretty capable all around, uh, you know, uh, cleaner and degreaser. It has some pretty good surfactants in here. And a lot of people tend to use this uh, off label. And uh, just a disclaimer here before we get started, uh, Dawn does not suggest you use this on wheels and tires uh, and neither do I. If you are going to be trying this out for yourself, you are doing this at your own risk. So I thought to do a video and just kind of for fun, check it out. Why not? Like I mentioned, we're doing this on a neglected dirty wheel that has a lot of contamination here, like grease and maybe tar or whatever. Uh, barrels are really bad and the tire, as we see here, could use some, some cleanup. And so what I decided to do is do a comparison with an actual dedicated uh, wheel and tire cleaner. In this case, we have the uh, Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions. I haven't really used this product before or many other uh, Turtle Wax products for that matter. Uh, so I thought I'd do maybe a comparison just to kind of see what we get with this Dawn product versus a actual dedicated wheel and tire cleaner. Hybrid Solutions being a dedicated wheel and tire cleaner uh, has some features in their formulation, such as uh, it's able to dissolve light brake dust and iron deposits that are kicked onto the wheel. And it also includes some uh, corrosion repellent uh, polymers. So it reduces some built up of uh, potential corrosion in the future. And so those are kind of expected uh, coming from a uh, dedicated wheel and tire cleaner, which we don't see obviously with Dawn. A couple 101s before you get started with any wheel cleaning or any cleaning period, I always say use protection. So always use your gloves, always work in a shaded area, always make sure that your wheel is cool to the touch uh, and you work away from direct sunlight because these products here could potentially damage uh, your surface if you do not use proper practices. Uh, so like, for example, the, uh, this product here is a pH of 13 and then th this Dawn here is a pH of 11. So they are higher on the alkaline, uh, pH scale. Don't let these products dry onto the surface as they could potentially again, damage, uh, your wheel finish. So having said that, let's get started. Okay, for the first test, we are going to apply both products onto the wheel and tire, and we are going to let both products dwell for about three to four minutes. And we are going to use this first test to kind of like a touchless manner. We just want to see how the products perform and kind of use that as a kind of gauge it that way, just to see which one performs better and pulls dirt off better without any agitation. And so we're in about three, four minutes and we notice a lot of browning from both sides. Uh, it's a little bit more noticeable on the turtle wax side. Now we're just going to rinse off the wheel entire thoroughly. And then we're going to use forced air to dry both wheel and tire. And for that, we're going to be using uh, my blower and we're just going to completely dry everything up just to kind of see where we're at with the first test. And as we noticed, the uh, tire still looks a little bit ashy. Uh, the wheel looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, but both sides look the same. So let's use the towel test here and see what kind of dirt we're going to pick up. So Don picked up barely any dirt from the tire and barely any dirt from the wheel. So it did pretty good on its own. And on the turtle wax side, we noticed uh, the tire picked up a little bit more contamination than Don did. And uh, it picked up a little bit more contamination on the wheel spoke as well, but nothing too drastic just slightly more contamination on the towel than uh, on the Dawn side. Uh, and the barrels Dawn did a lot better than uh, Turtle Wax. Turtle Wax seemed to have a lot more contamination on the towel. Now for the second test, we're going to reapply both products again on the wheel and tire, but this time we're gonna lightly agitate and we're gonna be using separate brushes uh, just to avoid cross contamination. So for this test here, we see both products foam pretty good. We noticed the thicker foam on the turtle wax side. And we also noticed that the turtle wax side is uh, foaming up in a pink color. Uh, I just wanted to clarify that that is not an iron remover. It's not reacting to any iron particles or anything like that. It's just the color of the formula. So uh, both products are foaming up pretty good and they're pulling uh, a lot of browning from the tire. So 
The one thing I noticed in terms of user experience is that uh, Dawn was a lot nicer to work with than the Turtle Wax because it smelt a lot better. I got a better lather uh, from Dawn that I did with uh, Turtle Wax. And I also noticed uh, that uh, there was a lot more lubrication on the Dawn side when I was agitating the wheels. And now we're just gonna, uh, again, rinse off the wheel thoroughly and we're gonna air dry it with the uh, blower just to kind of see what results we get now. So we noticed the tire is a lot better now that we agitated and the wheel looks a lot cleaner. Uh, and again, both sides look identical. So let's just do the towel test here and see what we pick up. So on the Dawn side, uh, we didn't really pick anything up from the tire. On the turtle wax side, uh, we picked up slightly contamination from the towel. And then on the Dawn side, we barely picked up anything from the wheels. So the towels look pretty good. And on the turtle wax side, we, it did pretty good. We didn't really pick up anything from the wheels. It was just a slight little spot there. So now for the final test, I just wanted to see if any of these products were able to dissolve any iron contamination. So I'm gonna hit the wheel with a dedicated iron remover. I'm gonna let it dwell for uh, a couple minutes and then we're gonna see if there's any reaction happening. And so as we see onto the wheel here into the barrel, uh, both sides reacted. We see a lot of reaction on the Dawn side. So all the spokes here are kind of reacting. So that means uh, visually that there's some are, um, iron particles that uh, did not dissolve. However, on the turtle wax side, I barely noticed any reaction happening. It was just on a couple areas there on the top spokes where I noticed some reaction. So it's fair to say that uh, turtle wax did a lot better uh, removing the iron particles over on Dawn's side, but obviously that is to be expected since Dawn is not a dedicated wheel cleaner. Okay, so to conclude the video, we saw we got pretty good results from both products. We uh, got a really good finish on the wheel and tire. On the first test, I have to say that Dawn did a little bit better in the barrels and cleaning uh, some of the contamination on the wheel than uh, Hyper Solutions did. The user experience, in my opinion, I like the Dawn better because it has a more pleasant smell and it lathered a little bit better. And I like the uh, foam sprayer that uh, they provide. Now where the Turtle Wax did a little bit better than Dawn obviously was uh, on the part where we saw uh, less reaction with iron particles on the wheel. So it looked like uh, Turtle Wax was able to dissolve uh, more of the iron particles because we saw less reaction on that side. Uh, when it came down to the contact wash on the second test, both of them did equally just as good. So. I have to say, if you're going to be using safe practices and you have Dawn around, uh, you can safely use it on your wheel and tire based on our test we did here. Again, you're at your own risk if you're going to do this, just as a disclaimer, but we got pretty good results. I'm pretty happy with what I see. And um, is it necessary to get a dedicated wheel and tire cleaner? That's really up to you. I'm going to leave that choice for you to make. But uh, Dawn Power Wash did pretty good for a wheel and tire cleaner here. And for those of you that are wondering, uh, I did try Dawn Power Wash straight up on my matte wheels, which is considered a delicate uh, surface and no damage occurred. Again, using safe practices, uh, I was able to achieve pretty good results. And mind you, that wheel is coated, so it's easier to maintain. So uh, it did great again on a matte wheel with no damage or no etching to the finish or anything like that. So I just thought I'd add that just for your information as well. Having said that, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you guys out, and we will talk to you on the next one. Take care.